what's to blame for the rapid and steady demise of Friendlies? And is there anything the company can do to pull itself out of financial freefall? We took a look at the company's nine-decade history, a road paved in fishamajig, super melts, and fribbles to figure out what went wrong. Friendlies was built around its welcoming family atmosphere, so it's ironic that family infighting helped cause their issues in the first place. According to the Wall Street Journal, in 2006, then 91-year-old co-founder S. Presley Blake caused a ruckus at a board meeting when he accused the directors of malfeasance. A year later, he teamed up with a 29-year-old shareholder named Sadar Biglari to try and wrest control of the company back. That led to a battle between Blake and his younger brother Curtis, who thought Biglari was out for himself. He might have been right. In 2011, the company was bought out by a private equity firm and Biglari cashed out, turning his attention to Steak and Shake just before Friendly's filed for bankruptcy. It has been a Western Massachusetts institution for 76 years, but now Friendly's is facing major financial difficulty. By 2012, the chain had emerged from bankruptcy, reducing their debt in part by eliminating the pension plan and closing over 100 locations. And the closures have continued ever since. By April 2019, there were only 174 locations left, compared to over 400 in 2011. The locations that still exist, though, are also struggling. Why? Well, it turns out that a lot of customers just don't seem to think that Friendly's is very good. In 2017, Nation's Restaurant News conducted a brand survey loyalty of 126 fast food and restaurant chains. Friendly's ranked at a dismal 106, with only 36% of customers saying that their last visit to the chain was motivated by the brand itself and not by convenience. When you're trying to dig yourself out of a hole, that's not a great way to start. Compounding the chain's problems is the fact that Americans are simply dining out less often these days, and when they do go out, they're choosing a different type of experience. According to Restaurant Business Online, consumers in 2019 are more interested in the unique experiences provided by independent restaurants and smaller chains than in bigger one-size-fits-all chains. That's in part because tastes in food are changing as well, with customers looking for healthier options. With farm-to-table foods and locally sourced ingredients becoming the norm, getting a burger and a frappe at Friendly's just doesn't seem as appealing as it once did. And another major shift impacting Friendly's is the slow erosion of the middle class. Customers at both ends of the spectrum are still dining out, but economically disadvantaged families are more likely to eat cheaper options like McDonald's, while more affluent folks can afford to eat somewhere nicer than Friendly's. Though of course there are exceptions to the rule. According to another restaurant business online survey, customers complained that the food was either not good enough or was too expensive. Friendly seems to be stuck in a middle ground where they aren't able to please either end of their customer base, and as a result, that customer base is disappearing. Their time may simply have come and gone. I'd like the, my baby needs a new pair of shoes meal. So that's two large sprites, a McChicken, and a triple cheeseburger for just $6. Exactly. All of which adds up to one sad possibility. It might simply be time for the age of friendlies to pass into legend. Industry analyst Ron Paul told the Boston Globe, Restaurants have a life cycle, and friendlies has hit it. I don't think there is any marketing fix when you are a model of a restaurant that went out of style. Restaurants open every day, but they also close every day. Sometimes a restaurant's concept catches on, but sometimes it dies off. Friendly's was ahead of its time when it opened, thanks to a wholesome concept of affordable, approachable food for the whole family that always ends in an ice cream sundae. But that was in 1935. More than eight decades later, for better or worse, Friendly's time may have passed. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite restaurants are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.